Um, we're ready to go live. Just give me a, uh, a heads up. Good luck. All the best. Thanks. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Jason. Um, welcome to uh, Sharing Our Voices 2021. Um, before we get started with our uh, program for today, uh, I'd like Susie Miller to introduce our opening uh, guests. Okay, thank you, Joe. Um, my name is Susie Miller. I've been involved with this initiative for since 2017. And uh, so our first uh, video we'll be showing is the, the, the Thanksgiving address. It's the words that come before all others. And what that does is it helps us bring our minds together as we are sharing our time together today. Was it that one? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Joe. And just remember the sound. We've got this. Thanks, Susie. Deo huaro gesto gano hinyo. Nanda ni gesto e aswatang seals gai wint go awado. Ne handway wa kianto sungwaya diso sungwawi gano hinyo. Ne ne au huesa skano duenuk dinyo. Ne di ne and wehik i hiya ska and waya. Ungwat ni goha. Scott, that what it no henyo, Nato ganyo took, or got ni goha. Yeah. Dane and wa trowi, se o huenza de, dwanoha, de dwen hunkwa, ne quato, se nieha. Nadi ne and we hek guego dead when honyo nato gan yo tok o got me go ha. Yeah. Dane and wa trovi hodai hodonyo touch ne gates se na hawayen in he. Nadi ne and we hek. Scott, de a tino hino, Nato ga, neo tok, o got me go ha. Yeah. Dane and wa trovi said wa go on a scania dayo, oi hoana a touch wad za. Nate, the sahai wine to what sa now sang way hank. O handle, hot wind shred in your gate. Nady nay, and we hig, the said when no hino, said we go on a scan your dayo, Nato gay, neoto, or got me go hot. Yeah. Dane and wa trowi, gay, neongueda gay. Hario ya kyono. Nay, de yo kiet nyado, scano, dwenuf denyo. Nay, de nay, and we hake, de yati no hino, hario ya kyono, de yo kiet nyado. Nay to ga, neo to, o got me go hot. Nya. Dane. And wa trowi, how hot gay, gong ye de hanagri, saguaya diso, nate so to sesto, nate scano, I dwinu denu, nate ne and we hake, the said winu hino, gong ye de hanagri, saguaya diso, nato ga, neo to, o guatni go hot, dani to, nagat guini, eat gate, a guy and get duck, gun no hino, dani to. 
Yawa to Nikki Sky from Emily C. General for providing the Gunyo Hanyo. Mm -hmm. And now we'll hear opening prayer from uh, the Lois King Elementary. Thank you, Green Father, for sharing us today. I say thank you for this day that I look upon everyone and talk to everyone in a good way. Thank you, Mother Earth, for giving us life, for giving us food, for giving us water, and for giving us the animals and the air that we breathe. I offer my tobacco to the four directions, east, south, west, and north. Help me to be able to stand strong and have a strong heart. Thank you, Grandfather. Flash, 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 Chimikwech, Lloyd S. King for that prayer. And our, we have uh, Susie, would you like to introduce this last uh, intro? Uh, we have uh, another language. We have our land acknowledgement in uh, sign language. And the, the teacher introduces the class. All right. So here we have Madame Lapierre's grade two, three French immersion class from Walsh Public School performing the Grand Erie Land Acknowledgement in sign language. The Grand Erie District School Board recognizes the Hunnishane and the Anishinaabe people as to the traditional people of this territory. We acknowledge and give gratitude to the indigenous people for sharing these lands in order for us to continue our work here today. Yeah, and we really loved having the background noise of the children. <laughs> I, I love no, seeing really that. I've seen, it, seen it a number of times and I, I love seeing that uh, more and more each time I see that. Um, so again, thank you for all uh, joining us today for sharing our voices. We are the water. Um, this is an event that celebrates student voice and encourages our teachers and students to envision what reconciliation looks like in the future. Um, it's a partnership between our Grand Area District School Board and the Grand Area Elementary Teachers Federation. Uh, celebrates our diverse cultures, traditions, and contributions of our indigenous communities. Um, it also honors our partnerships between Grand Area and the elementary schools from uh, Six Nations of the Grand River and Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. Um, our first event was in 2017, uh, celebrating National Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, to, to further support this day in uh, for Friday or June 21st, um, the Grand Erie School Board uh, amended its calendar a bit. Um, so kids who were having exams, our, our Indigenous students who were having exams on that day, wouldn't have to choose. 
Uh, so what our school board did in 2018-19 is they made that day uh, a regular school day, not an exam day, so uh, our students wouldn't have to make a choice between an exam or attending a, a function on our uh, National <laughs> Indigenous Peoples Day. So I'm really, it was a really nice uh, gesture and, and to support our students uh, a couple years back. So before we go any uh, further with our program today, I have a few uh, introductions here from our uh, speak or uh, people who want to bring their greetings. Um, first, we have Joanna Roberto, our Director of Education from Grand Area District School Board. Sego, thank you so much, Joe. Can you hear me? Yes. Great, wonderful. It's my pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the Grand Area District School Board and senior team. I would like to warmly welcome all the staff and students joining us today from Grand Erie, Six Nations of the Grand River, and Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. And all of our honored speakers, performers, and guests. It's great to be with you today to celebrate National Indigenous Peoples Day. After so much uh, tragedy that has been occurring, I am so grateful to have this opportunity to come together as a community and mark this important occasion. Today, we will have the opportunity to hear from students and Indigenous leaders from the community to celebrate Indigenous art and culture and honor our relationships along the waters of the Grand River and Lake Erie. I wanna thank the organizers and everyone involved for your hard work. It has been outstanding over this past year in particular and our kickoff today. It has not gone unnoticed and I want all of you to know how very much we appreciate your work. I look forward to more opportunities to come together as a community in the future and build greater intercultural inter understanding between Grand Erie and Indigenous communities and I hope everyone enjoys today's program. Thank you. Miigwech. Miigwech, Joanna. Thank you very much. Um, our next um, greeting is coming from Claudine Van Nerby Albert, our Six Nations trustee from the Grand Erie School Board. Yaogowa. Sego Saogwego. Yaogwenadogo no young guts. Hello, everybody. My Mohawk name is Yaogwenadogo, and my English name is Claudine Van Nerby Albert. As Joe said, I'm the Six Nations trustee on the Grand Erie District School Board. And with these greetings from the Grand Erie trustees, we commend the staff and students for their dedication and work to put on this um, excellent and unique event. We appreciate your time and effort, and we really look forward to being entertained today. Nyao Goa, thank you very much. Our um, next um, greeting is coming from uh, Stacy Laform, the elected chief of the Mississaugas of the Credit River, Credit, Credit River, Credit First Nation, and uh, Stacy provide us with a, a video. I'd like to acknowledge the creator, the world around us, and our place within it. I'd like to acknowledge the creator, the world around us, and our place within it. I'd like to acknowledge the many nations that walked this land in the past, the many nations that walk it today, and welcome you to the treaty lands of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe. I'd, I'd like to begin by offering you, offering you a prayer. We give thanks to the Creator for allowing this gathering. We ask that He guide us and forgive us when we falter and disappoint. For though we aspire to greatness, we are, after all, only human. Grant us a clear mind, a pure heart, and courage. A clear mind to make intelligent, well thought out decisions. A pure heart to make decisions that are without personal bias and desire, 
and the courage to use both, a clear mind and a pure heart in our lives. Let us set aside small differences. Let us concentrate on real issues. Let us not be bogged down in rhetoric. Let us live each day with a feeling of accomplishment and pride. Most importantly, let us remember, we are not enemies nor are we adversaries. We share a similar past, a kindred spirit, and a common heritage. We must always remember the real reason we gather, to do the right thing for our people, our children, our future. Miigwech. So, I was going to speak to you about the connection to land and water, a connection that all people share. Um, just with some people, it's buried down deep inside, but we all have that connection. I was going to give you a whole lesson around land and water and our place upon Mother Earth, but I'm tired of talking. So I challenge you instead. I challenge you to think of climate change in a new way. Instead of thinking of climate change as a problem to be solved, think of Mother Earth as a soul that needs to be saved. Do that and you will change your world. Now, I want to read a poem about a woman who they estimated walked half the circumference of the earth to raise awareness of the spirit of the water. A woman who should immediately be placed in all curriculum and take her rightful place in the history of this country. And that woman's name is Grandmother Josephine. Who walks forever woman. I've been called a hero. I have been called crazy. It does not matter what people say, but do not doubt. I have been called. I saw the anguish upon the water, the pain, the hurt. I sat in ceremony with tears streaming. I knew I must do something. So I asked, walk, grandmother, sing, dance, ceremony, but walk. So walk I did for the water, sometimes with others, sometimes alone. I thought that once my first walk was done, I would rest. But again, I was called, walk, grandmother. So I walked and I walked and always upon the end of the walk, I thought, now I rest. But the call is not gone. So I walk. This may be the final time my feet travel the earth around the water. Upon my deathbed, they will say, you have done enough, rest. I will smile and nod for them. Yet I know I will continue on this journey, for I still feel the call. I still hear the voice. Walk, grandmother. I sometimes wonder why no one hears the voice of the water. Maybe no one who is alive today remembers. So I will walk, and you may hear my voice, my drum. You may walk by my side, or you may glimpse my passing. This is not a curse. This is a cause, an honor. I will walk for the spirit of the water. I will walk until duty is not forgotten. I will walk until you walk. For I have learned that the voice is walk, what it means lead. So I will walk until you hear and you answer. So stand, grandmothers, grandfathers, parents, children, stand. For you must stand, and you must stand together. Then you must walk, and I will walk beside you. For even as I pass, I hear the words, walk, grandmother, walk. I, I was happy to share this with grandmother Josephine uh, before she passed and asked her family if I could use it to raise awareness of the of her what she was doing with the water so i do that i say she's an inspiration and a, two, and a true demonstration of dedication if you want to talk to me more let me know be safe be heard i'm a p we got you chief LaForm. and as a chief of is speaking we had our our, our next guest, um, please welcome uh, Leroy Jock Hill, Cayuga Subchief and Secretary to the Haudenosaunee Confederacy Chief Council, and bring his greetings. Scano Swagwego. That was perfect timing, huh? <laughs> you knew when to come. <laughs> I, I don't know if uh, Susie shared or not, but uh, we had ceremonies today at the Longhouse yep. for yep. we give thanks for. Uh, seeing through the the planting season again 
So we gather to give thanks and also to ask that uh, the life sustaining foods uh, will continue on and uh, nourish, provide that nourishment and strength throughout the summer to the end of, end of summer when all things will ripen again. So right down to the fall when they turn to seed again. So we I've been in ceremony about four hours right now. Uh, just come out it ended just in good timing so I'm happy to be here I had I warned Susie yesterday that uh, <laughs> I'm I'm unsure just exactly what time I'll join so uh, it looked like the creator helped us on that huh? <laughs> no great thank you so uh, I'm uh, I'm happy to uh, be able to take part in uh, such an important uh, um, event and my name is uh, Hohahis in the language, and that means long path. And it's uh, it kind of gives you something to think about. We really don't know how long a path we travel. So our teachings are based on constant uh, self-reflection and also on gratitude. So gratitude is something we don't we don't uh, we should never forget. To, to be grateful and have that gratitude. Even when you begin your day, you give thanks. Uh, I was pretty thankful that the, our grandfathers woke us up this morning around <laughs> six o'clock. Really? Yeah. That was a great thing because uh, if you notice, we haven't hardly heard that all year. And we're halfway through the, the calendar year, of course. Um, so it was, it was an uplifting feeling to hear that first thing this morning, so I give thanks. Uh, that's our tradition, give, be thankful, because the topic we're on here is water. And those beings we heard this morning are responsible to replenish our source of water and nourishment, not only for humans, but for all living things, including our mother, the earth. So they're fulfilling their duties, and it's a refresh, refreshing feeling not only for humans, but for all living things. They're getting refreshed and refreshment today. And our grandfathers are helping us along the way. So we should be thankful for that. And that's one thing I learned. I, I spent my life around our knowledge holders and, and our knowledgeable men and women. Uh, most have passed on now. And they constantly are sharing with one another. That's how they lived. They shared. They shared their their teachings. They shared their perspectives, and and uh, they. I what I've learned from that walk is to never criticize the the weather. We have to discipline ourselves because the, each weather season has a meaning and a purpose, and it's beneficial, <clears throat> and also it's inspiring. The the changing of the seasons, the changing of the weather. Uh, it's meant it's meant to enhance our existence. So as much as we'd like to see summer all year round, or spring, whatever your season you like, some people like fall and winter. Um, I like them all, me. <laughs> and so that's how we're supposed to be. It's appreciate every day in our teachings. It says ha definishrage vanishriyo, and what that means is every day is a great day. Because no matter whether it's raining and cloudy or sunshine and, and nice warm air, every season and every weather condition has a purpose. So sometimes we don't understand that. So then we start to criticize what a bad day. And, and actually the creator, the, our creator doesn't want us to think there's ever a bad day. Every day is a good day, is a great day. So now on the subject of water, um, the perspective our creator has given us is that it's the veins of Mother Earth. That's what that means. It's just like the veins in our arm and hands. So the, the rivers, the waters that flow, all the waters that flow, they're sustaining that Mother Earth's body. So we need, we need to do our part to make sure the water and the, blade, the veins are open and flowing and do our best not to not to uh, pollute and poison. And in fact, in the little area we live, 
we we generally are near water. That's what our ancestors look for when they would settle, is water. They wouldn't settle someplace where they couldn't have a source of water. So the scientists and the health professionals say that we're mostly, our bodies are mostly made up of water. So we have to be mindful of that when we're thinking about water and our use of water, we should give thanks that we have still waters coming to us. And these, what's happening today, the thunders are washing the earth and re replenishing. And it sure, Mother Earth sure needs it. And it was getting kind of dry. So we should always give thanks when rain comes and be happy because that's replenishing something which makes up most of our being. <laughs> it makes yeah. up a good chunk of Mother Earth too. So um, I, I, I think that uh, our, our consciousness is, I guess that's my words I offer you, is to be conscious about water and the importance of it. And do your best, clean up your area if you live near the water. Keep it clean and and take part because that little bit of effort, if each of us puts our little effort into helping the waterways and cleaning up our areas, then it's going to help the overall system of water. Great. Big glitch. Jock and uh, um, Susie was mentioning that same thing this morning when, when I called her first thing that uh, with, the, with the thunders and the rain, it's perfect because our, our theme today is we are the water. So everything kind of uh, worked out well that way. So no, excellent. Thank you very much for uh, joining us today. Thank you. It was perfect when I woke yes. up. I said, oh, <laughs> Nyawa. Uh, it was just perfect. Right. Yes. So say, you know, um, Jock, and, and if you can hang around for the closing, that'd be great, because I think your spirit will be uh, nurtured through this presentation. But if you can't oh, for stay, sure. that's fine. But, uh, I'll do my you... best. Yeah, OK, because yeah. we, we went through it this morning. Um, and I just want to bring greetings from uh, Chief, elected Chief Mark Hill. He's uh, uh, there are some community issues that he's dealing with today, and um, he sends his greetings, and he was really hoping to be here live, but um, so, now yeah, for, uh, for that. And uh, before we go any further, uh, just a few things, I never introduced myself. Uh, I'm Joe, <laughs> I'm Joe oh. Tice. I didn't, I just went right in. I'm assuming everybody knows who I am. Very uh, cocky me, I guess, but uh, I'm Joe Tice uh, from the Gardner First Nation. Um, Ojibwe Martin clan. Uh, right now I'm the indigenous lead teacher consultant for the Grand Air District School Board. And for those people who are watching live right now, um, if you know any teachers uh, at your school or in a VLA who are having uh, trouble accessing the event today, could you please uh, share the link um, with them? Um, my, my phone's dinging like crazy here and I'm not very good at multitasking. Um, so if I get the help of people who are on today and sharing those links, that, that helped me out a lot. Thank you very much. Our next uh, presenter today, uh, Susie and I both have had the, the pleasure of teaching. Um, I'd like to introduce Ascension Harjo. Uh, Ascension is a 19-year-old Mohawk Kickapoo Seminole from Six Nations of the Grand River Territory. He started dancing as soon as his father, as soon as he could walk, soon after the age of two. He started hoop dancing like his father before him. He has traveled all over the world with his parents, dancing and performing for many audiences. He loves sports and plays on all the teams he can, his favorite being basketball. He is very involved in learning his native language of Mohawk, as well as learning traditional and social and ceremonial dances. Ascension's passion is dance. Whether it be powwow, smoke, hip hop, modern, or hoop, he was always dancing and has performed with the likes of Nelly Furtado, world champion hoop dancers Tony Duncan and Lowry Bigay, Santi Smith's Kauai Dance Theater, Red Sky, and Grammy Award winner Wayne Silas Jr., to name a few. He has also danced with some of the best dance troops across Turtle Island, as well as participating in the closing ceremonies of the 2015 Pan Am Games held in Toronto. The opening ceremonies for the North American Indigenous Games with Taboo from Black Eyed Peas and the 2018 Inspire Awards. Uh, Ascension, Ascent, Ascension has also won the Teen Division Hoop Dance World Championships in 2018, making him one of the most elite hoop dancers on Turtle Island. He has won the title at the World Championships of Hoop Dance held at the Herd Museum, Phoenix, Arizona. Ascension's hope is to keep dancing and to maintain a healthy lifestyle and promote a, self, a positive self-image for himself and his culture. 
and a pleasure to teach and a pleasure to coach. Uh, so here's Ascension. Sorry, just watching that. Uh, thank you very much, Ascension, for taking the time to contribute to today's uh, uh, event. Uh, next on our uh, agenda, I like uh, Susie would like to introduce our next uh, presenter. I have a new friend. I've been spending some, <laughs> some time with her, Leila, and uh, <clears throat> I've just been enjoying so much uh, recording uh, the lovely song that they're about to share. So I will let Layla speak to the song. I just want to do a qualifier. I think the words in the song say, flip the ship, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go Layla. Yes, actually, it's so interesting because uh, the original song, the original water song that I based this song off of was written by Teresa Bear Fox. And if you know Teresa Bear Fox, she's an incredible musician. She has lots of amazing recordings out there. I suggest you go download them, support her. And one of her conditions, uh, so I created, I created this documentary called Blood and Water. Uh, it was funded by Great Art for Great Lakes. And the documentary was about my own personal journey as a generational survivor of residential schools and my journey to reclaiming that. So before I get any further, <laughs> I didn't even introduce myself. Uh, my name's Layla Black, Layla Black Yongyats, Sego, Skano, Anawara ni wagit daro dan ganyak gehaga ni wago wen jordan oswego ni dawageno. So I just said, my name is Layla. I am Mohawk Turtle Clan from the Six Nations, the Grand River, and I, didn't know what Mohawk Turtle Clan actually meant. Uh, you know, I was taught a very different perspective of my culture and where I came from. And so this documentary was 
this story of me reclaiming my language and my identity as a Mohawk woman. And the song was featured in the documentary. So the song has actually never been released on any albums or any records. Uh, my brother, Logan, my little brother, little big brother, uh, Logan Stats, uh, was featured on it as well. So I'm really excited that we get to share it with you. But when I asked Teresa, because I said, I'd love to use your song, uh, your water song, and change it a little bit. So I changed it to have a little bit of a hip hop vibe to it. Uh, and she said, I don't mind if you use the song as long as there's no swear words. So <laughs> that's one of our <laughs> that was one of our conditions. Uh, so, but my brother tends to mumble a little bit. So I think ship came out sounding like something else. And I was like, oh no, that's no swear words, but it's not. Uh, but yeah, the song is, uh, you can find it on the internet. You can find her recording of it as well. But we changed it a little bit uh, and wanted to put our own little swing on it. So I'm glad that I get to share it with you because it's never been released before. Uh, and you get to hear, it, I guess, for the first time here today. World premiere, nice. Yeah. Thank you very much, Layla. And I've had a chance to see this already and it's, it's outstanding. So uh, please enjoy. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. What happened here? Let's try this again. Don't forget the sound. Yep, got the sound. Sound, good there job. in the right mind and this is for my sisters they're stolen and missing and this is for my grandmother and this is for your grandmother hit him with the water song hit him with the water song Like an alarm, so wake up at a truth and take up arms. Cause more is necessary than vocabulary. Whoa, to toxic rock import, knocking at your door. CIA, I'll see you later. Your time is coming soon. Flip the shit like Pacino on the dark day afternoon. Yo, Attica, Attica, Chuck Aiden, Springer, Static, and the Slogan, Static, is bang. We're bringing the black light. Uh, sharing our voices original that was great 
Love watching that. It's a, it's a excellent. Thanks again, Layla, for, for doing that. That's no okay. Show's over. We've hopped out. We can't get any better than that. Oh, no. Uh, we no. Got, you <laughs> we got lots. We got I lots like more. <laughs> Great. Uh, um, Susie, would you like to introduce our next speaker, Makasa? Yes, I want to welcome Makasha. She's able to uh, join us live today. I'm so happy. I had. <clears throat> um, when, I, when we were talking about this uh, idea, I just thought I want to talk to her and I want to invite her to share some words because uh, she, I don't know her very well, but I know her mother very well. And uh, um, I'm just so proud to highlight the wonderful people that we have working for the water. So um, Makasha, welcome. And yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah, you're totally right. We cannot top off that performance. I was just like <laughs> dancing here in my little studio. It's amazing, Layla. I love that song. I love the twist that you put on it. And I I love Bear Fox. She's amazing. I asked her to um, like if we could use any of her songs before. And she is, her voice is like an angel. And it's literally creator just gifted her that voice it's so Did she soft give a swear word condition too no swear words <laughs> yeah no swear words i actually didn't hear that where you might have <laughs> got the mix up there but i love like the little jam now and it's amazing and i know that hopefully will we be able to use that video in our podcast because we always um showcase artists in the beginning and the end yeah that'd be amazing Awesome! Yes, I know that our viewers would love that. But Niawe for having me. Um, my name's Orsego Makashingatz, Kinekahaga Niwago Honjore, Wakatuhuni, Six Nations, Nidavageno. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Makasha Looking Horse. I'm the host for Neganos Let's Talk Water here in Six Nations in my old room. Um, this is my studio. <laughs> Um, it's my old room. I gave up my room. It was in our living room, but yeah, this is my studio and I'm also the youth coordinator for the Oneganos Water Project for the last about four years now. And so I know a lot of things that, um, the project is one of the only projects in the world that is Indigenous knowledge led and co-created. And we're studying water here in Six Nations and um, yeah, we, we talked with Jock and we met with the community members and it's all led by community. And so we're doing a whole bunch of cool things. Like we have a virtual reality with, um, Jock is actually a hologram and we're actually going to go show him the virtual reality sometime next week, hopefully, but we're doing so many cool things like that. And that is podcast. We have so many discussions like, amongst and about water. Um, but yeah, I, me personally, I've grown up and I've been a Sundance leader for around 12, 11 years. Um, that's kind of where it started was rooted in my culture and in my Haudenosaunee teachings and my Lakota teachings, because I'm half Lakota and half Haudenosaunee Mohawk woman. Um, so like activism and environmentalism has always been at the root of our being because we protect the water where we are no higher or we're no, yeah, no higher than anything in the circle of life. Nothing higher than the trees or the water. Like we, that stuff does not belong to us. We um, simply give thanks for no mother nature and that's what all of our ceremonies are basically about is giving thanks for our water sources and our the air and everything in the Thanksgiving address so that is our being as Haudenosaunee as um, indigenous people and it's not just like I just said just not, it's not just for Haudenosaunee people this is a common thing around all indigenous people but um, I have a video that can maybe go explain a little bit more. So I'm going to try to share my screen here. I don't know if it will happen because I had a lot of issues before. Um, how is it sharing? It is not sharing yet. 
Oh, geez, okay. Um, I, I think she'll have to turn her camera on. We can't see her face. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you see now? Um, no. Okay, I guess it's not going to work. <laughs> we, you know, um, we, can, we can try again at the end, Makasha, once we're uh, finished, if you wanted, to, wanted to, to practice a little bit. Yeah, um, what was that? No, we, we could try it again at the end of our, 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 our program yeah. as well, if you're able to, to stick around, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd try to upload it before, but can you see me or no? Yep. Yep. Okay, great. Um, I tried to upload it before, but I had so much work. But what it's really about, it's about um, um, like our our teachings as Hanajani at women when and our responsibility to the earth and to the water. And we have, have this responsibility as um Ogbehoe because it's like I said in our teachings, it's water was when he water was here when sky woman first fell and onto the turtle's back and it the earth was covered in water and so that same spirit that same grandmother has always been here it's always and that water was the same water in that story it has never left it it reciprocate reciprocates around the earth but and um we have also have more connections because we have water, water protects our babies and it's in the womb. And so that has, that water and that relationship has been gone back since millennia. Um, and that water has helped ba us babies grow. And, and if you really think about it, water has always been our first environment. And, and it is our first environment. And we are made up of like something crazy of 70%, 80% of water. Um, and so we are water and water is all around us all the time, whether it's in the air and um, you can't even see it, or if it's in the clouds, or if it's in the creeks and the streams and the rivers and the aquifers and all the way down or all the way up, water is continuously in everywhere and nothing will would ever have would ever be here without water, not us and not our everything that's in a Thanksgiving address, like the grass and the and um, the earth and the trees outside, nothing would be here without water. So it's a common thing that we need to fight for our water, right? Especially right now, because there's less. The facts are is that there is less than two percent of fresh water in the entire world, and that large percentage percentage of water is in Canada. A large percentage of that water is like within Haudenosaunee treaty land. So we need to protect our water. Um, we And there's places in the world where that's happening right now where there's where they're having droughts like in, in South Africa and China and places in the world where having where they're having to measure how much water is um, how much water they consume a month or a day, they, how much water that they consume, can use to take a bath or brush their teeth. They they're have to measure how much water that they use because they're having a drought. And that can easily happen here within the next um, 10 years or so. So it's really, it's really scary. It's really scary what's happening right now and what our environment is like. And what our environment right, right now is like in Six Nations is that the waters are, the creeks aren't well whatsoever. Our river was actually, the Grand River was the second most polluted river in Canada, other than the one that caught fire because of the oil that was in it. And that is our reality, you know? So we, and right now also, what I have been fighting for recently was for Nestle to stop taking our aquifer water because they, for government, gives them five five hundred dollars for a permit that they have to pay, and they make billions off of 
off of profiting off of it. And that's our aquifer water. So like there's lots of things that are happening right now that we can all unite and join together and work towards and protect our waterways because we really need to. Like we cannot live without water. It's not an indigenous crisis. It's okay. it's an indigenous global crisis. It's a, no, it's indigenous. Well, and it's not indigenous. It's a water. Um, it's a global water crisis. So it's it's insane of the facts of what's happening right now. So th those are just some things that we're working on, and I hope that we can all continue to work towards water and um, in our efforts. Miigwech, Makasha. No, it's an important message, and um, hopefully we can, again, take care of our water. It's, it's amazing. Like Some of the things I found out in the last year, doing a little bit of research on uh, the water supply, just here, like you, you would be very surprised. Like You mentioned about Six Nations, and in the middle of Southern Ontario, how, many, how few people have access. And uh, uh, hopefully through events like today, and we keep working, and, 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 and what you're doing, hopefully we can bring that awareness around some more. So thank yeah, you. We yeah, Six Nations, Six Nations is a, in a water crisis right now, and so is like most First Nations can First Nations in Canada. So a lot of people in Six Nations don't even have access to clean water, and there's pollution in our creeks and our streams. There are 400 times the regular amount, and it's basically not even water. So it's really devastating news that what we have, and we need to take it seriously. Thank yeah, you for sharing today. Really appreciate it. And I hope you stay around because we have some really lovely things to share. As better, stuff, better stuff coming along. Just We're just building up here. <laughs> Thank so. you. Our next um, message is, is a greeting from our uh, Grand Erie Elementary Teachers Federation President, Sean Martin. Good afternoon to all of the students, teachers, and to the honored guests attending today's Sharing Our Voices celebration. My name is Sean Martin. I'm a teacher, and I'm also the president of our organization. I've been invited to bring greetings to you from the Grand Erie Elementary Teachers Federation. I'm very proud of all the work that my colleagues have done to continue sharing our voices, especially this year when we can't get together in person. Sharing our voices began four years ago when a group of very creative and talented teachers made this wonderful event possible. And even though we must celebrate virtually this year, I know that we will very much enjoy the artistic works showcasing just some of the rich history and culture of the indigenous peoples of this land. We're very fortunate to have this opportunity to learn and grow from the artistic works of the talented people who proudly share their cultural traditions with us. The theme of this year's event is a substance that every living thing on our planet needs to survive, and that is pure, clean, and plentiful water. I believe water is just as alive as people, animals, and plants are, and that we must honor and take care of the water, and we must appreciate it for all it gives to us and to our planet. When I see polluted waters, I feel sad, and I wish other people would care for water much more. Maybe you feel the same way that I do. Sharing our voices is about realizing things that we hadn't yet learned or even thought of before. It's about respecting, honoring, and discovering just some of the wisdom of the peoples who are indigenous to this land. This year, the event is also a reminder for us all to take care of our natural world. Thank you to everyone who is contributing and participating today. On behalf of the elementary teachers in Grand Erie and our entire Federation, I thank each one of the talented contributors. Thank you to the teachers for offering this opportunity to their students, and thank you to our school board for your partnership. I look forward to experiencing all the hard work that so many people have done to make sharing our voices a success again this year. Great, thank you, Sean. Um, our next uh, performer is um, Autumn Hashi. Autumn is a grade seven uh, student from the Virtual Learning Academy, Mr. Keel's class, and she'll be uh, singing an Algonquin water song. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Autumn Elizabeth Hashi. I am 12 years old. I am Oneida Turtle Clan from Six Nations of the Grand Bay. I will be singing the Algonquin Water Song. I am sharing this song to honor the water. This song was taught to me by Kara Loft. She is a traditional drummer and singer from Tandanaga, First Nation Wolf Clan. <laughs> Water is sacred, water is life, water connects and unites us all. It is all a woman's responsibility to speak up and take care of the water. Great, thanks for that. Um, Autumn, I think when we put out the call for submissions way back when, I think Autumn was the very first one uh, to submit an entry and uh, she did it very quickly and uh, obviously very passionate about, about the water. And I think uh, Makashi, you might have another ally there uh, right now or in a few years even. Uh, so thank you for that, uh, Autumn. Susie, introduce Miss Romiko's class. Yes, Ms. Romico, she's from a virtual learning academy, French Immersion. Uh, so she sent, I, I think we really need to appreciate how this event comes together and how teachers learning virtual, uh, teaching and learning virtually is, um, it's just a whole thing in itself. And for, for the students to come together and create um, their uh, presentations, it, it's, it, and for teachers for coordinating it, it's just so special. So she sent the words uh, that go along with this. Water is everywhere is the title. This video is the result of fifth and sixth graders hard work to write a song that is like a poem and has a different and unique feel in each verse. It is about water, how great it is, how much we need it and how awesome it is. We made the song by each writing a paragraph and then putting it together. Also, we held up some stuffed marine animals to further the water feel. Great. Um, Layla, I think you're sharing your screen. Can I can I have it back, please? <laughs> <laughs> you know Thank what? You. That, was, that was my cat. My cat totally <laughs> came across my screen and everything. I was like, oh no. Uh, sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> uh, Layla's taking charge. Layla's taking over. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you. you a few things, though. <laughs> Oh, I, this is enough. Thank you. <laughs> I 
Oh, I think we need to do the sound, Joe. Shoot. It's okay. <laughs> we knew it was going to happen once. We knew it was going to happen once, didn't we? Oh, yes. It's, a, it's all good. L'eau est bleue, l'air est clair, on sait que l'eau est quelque part bleue. Nous avons une place qu'on connaît qui comprend le l'eau. L'eau est partout et nous savons qu'elle est bonne pour moi et toi. Moi et mes nièces, c'est ma vie. Plein de choses qui m'amènent de grands appétits. Nous nous le lisons. Le voyage en Nouvelle-France était une pêche. Nous allons à travers les tombes et les vagues aussi grandes que les mondes. L'eau en Israël, c'est merveilleux. Il y a beaucoup à apprendre sur l'eau. Notre cerveau est composé de 75% d'eau, tout comme un arbre, mais malheureusement, 68% de l'eau du sur la terre est emprisonnée dans les glaciers. Et l'eau couvre 71% de la terre et 86% de cette eau se trouve dans l'océan. Au Médusa et Concombre sont 85% d'eau. L'hydrogène et l'oxygène composent l'eau. L'eau régule la température de la terre et sa cerveau. Près de 97 de l'eau du monde est salée ou autrement non potable et pour nous humains, c'est pas bon. Les glaciers stockent 75 de l'eau douce du monde. L'eau est sur le terre et c'est dans le ciel. Votre couple est 60% d'elle. 61% du monde est l'eau et tu peux boire quand tu es chaud. Si tu sens des chiffres, tu peux boire l'eau, mais tu peux deviner malade si tu bois trop. L'eau est essentielle pour la terre et les animaux. Si tu veux être sain, tu bois, dois boire de l'eau. Great, thanks a lot. I love the I love the stuffed animals and and everything like that. Used to used to be pretty good in French way back in the day, uh, so thank you. Um, our next uh, submission is from the L Lloyd S K Elementary School. Uh, Catherine Shawana shared uh, two um, uh, items with us this year. Uh, she shared that traditional opening, uh, the prayer uh, from Lloyd S King with a number of students, and her second submission from the school is is uh, is kind of a group effort from the school. Um, they put together a story called uh, Nibish Many G Many Gifts, which they wrote and they created the artwork for. So uh, enjoy. Nibish, many gifts, sacred stories, messages, and teaching of water teach us our history. It brings sad tears that flow from our eyes. Dangerous experiences causing damage, fear, and hope. Heaviness is brought upon the way by what we put in it. Waves bring anger, happiness, and kindness. We see the blue landscape of the sea and never stop thinking what it could mean. The fish passes through many generations as it cleans, heals, and carries life. It gives life to millions of animals that live on the land and in the sea. Carries us across the world, allowing us to explore the creator's many gifts and take up most of the space on planet Earth, our bodies, and bring us health. When we learn 
listen closely, we can hear all the beautiful songs in the waves, messages of peace and love. Many memories we see in the reflections. The teachings guide us in living a good life. Our in a beach we must guard and cherish as we say miigwech for all that it gives us. Thank you, LSK, with the um, the great message, uh, protecting the water, and very impressed with the uh, the artwork and the the storytelling. Um, thank you very much again for that. Um, our next um, presenter is uh, Nikki Shawana. She's going to do a hoop dance as well. Uh, Ascension uh, presented one earlier. Uh, Haudenosaunee uh, young lad. Um, and now we have a, uh, a woman who is, uh, indig Nikki Shawana is an indigenous artist from the Odawa Nation, Anishinaabe Eagle Clan. Uh, her roots are from Wikwemekong, Manitoulin Island. However, she grew up in Southern Ontario. Nikki currently resides and raises her family in Norfolk County. Nikki started power dancing at an early age as a way to keep connected to her Anishinaabe culture while growing up in an urban setting. As a teenager, she gathered teachings from elders, dancers, singers, and craftspeople in her community and the Powwow Trail. Growing up in Southern Ontario, Nikki learned many teachings and songs, dances and language from the Haudenosaunee as well. She quickly found herself as a role model for other youth in her community that wanted to learn more about their culture. For the past 15 years, Nikki has been educating others about Indigenous culture through performances, workshops, classes, and speaking engagements at various schools, community organizations, special events throughout Ontario and New York State. Today, Nikki is a well-known and reputable powwow dancer, hoop dancer, singer, and craftsperson. She continues to gather teachings from elders and community members and is passionate about teaching others about Indigenous culture through the arts. Uh, Nikki also wanted to share her feelings about the hoop dance. The hoop dance for some nations is a medicine or healing dance. We all know the water heals us, but what, we can, what can we do to heal the water? It could be as simple as picking up after yourself and being mindful of what we put in the water. The hoop dance is also a reminder that shows us some of the beautiful gifts we have in the world and reminds us to take care of these gifts. You might see a bird or a butterfly, a person or a plant. Please enjoy this hoop dance and share what you see. Chi miigwech. So here we have Nikki Shawana. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Nikki just looked looked tired at the end of that. <laughs> Getting tired, tired, tired for her. Uh, like a couple of times, there was a couple of giggles when she put that uh, hoop in her mouth. I think, I think it was a little girl giggling at her. <laughs> but I uh, know. Thank you. Uh, Nick, Nikki does a lot of work uh, with our schools. Um, I know uh, she's 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 uh, sought after a lot for dancing and singing and and uh, I know a lot of classes brought in her and she, and she she managed to do it virtually this year as well. Uh, which she wasn't too uh, sure of at the start, but as as the year went on, uh, like many of us, we got more comfortable with the uh, with the technology. So, uh, uh, miigwech, Nikki, for for sharing that with us. So we're coming close to our end of our program. Um, so as Susie is introducing our final uh, presenter today, I'd like to show a piece of artwork that was submitted by uh, Ajithan Kudaswaran, who is a grade seven student. In the, in the virtual learning academy for Mr. Keel again. So uh, I'll be showing that right now. And uh, Leila, I don't know if you want to help in introducing the song, but um, the song we are, uh, the song is it's called The Song for the Water, and the words in the song are, We Are the Water. It was, it was uh, written in conjunction with 250 students uh, from Six Nations, Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, and uh, Grand Erie Classrooms. We traveled around Rob Lamoth and, uh, and Logan Stotts, and we had circles, and we talked about the water. We shared how the water, um, what it means to us, and just everything about it. And so all the words were recorded. It was also through the um, uh, Great Art for Great Lakes program. And uh, so the song that was created from it, written by Logan and Logan Stotts and Rob Lama, and uh, Layla sings it in it. It's just so beautiful and it truly is the, the words from the children. But my favorite part is when they say, and the turtles sing, because every classroom we went into, the kids talked about turtles. And I just thought that was so cool. <laughs> Is there anything you want to my favorite part is the uh, the special appearance that we have from Susie Miller on the rattle. So Susie showed up and she had her rattles and she had a ribbon skirt on and she was looking. I was like, there's no way she's going to sit on that side of the camera. I'm like, you get over here and you shake that rattle. Uh, and there's a part in the song when you you know you shake you shake the rattle, and uh, it's just it's such a great song. This should be like a number one hit everywhere. I'd love to get it recorded with the kids too. That would be so awesome. When the turtle sing, so I won't give it away. I'm really excited to see it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. And here here we go. Don't forget the sound. <laughs> I got the sound right there. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> Oops, what happened here? Sorry for the trouble Everything I left behind and it's messed up, whoa, running out of time. The weight is on your shoulder, and you better save yourself. This ain't about crying, oh my God. We shake the right Opens up a door Waiting on the shores We better say No strength We are the shore We are the shore 
we are the gold. We are the stone. We are the land. We are the hurricane. My sons and my daughters. Oh, we are the world. Welcome to tomorrow. There's no time to wait. And blood is shedding tears. I know we made mistakes. Yes, we double the speed Another good, good day. We are the world. We are the shore. We are the world. We are the stone. We know where to land. We are the hurricane. My sons and my daughters, we are the water. My sons and my daughters, we are the water. In my heart, In the dust, yeah. Even the seas are singing. Yeah, the seas are singing. And the children say. way to finish off for four no that was that was outstanding i love those two songs you guys did layla and again thank you very much for uh for doing that for us uh for our event this year really uh, uh made it special thank you so much nyango i thank you for having us yeah i'm so proud I mean, yeah oh no <laughs> you were you're you the best one in, in there Has everybody Susie? put comments up for uh for Susie miller for her debut <laughs> Um, we want to, we want her to start her own album, maybe. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, cool. Thank you very much. So without, just despite a few glitches, I think the, uh, uh, 
the events went pretty smoothly today. Thank you, Susie, for the reminder on the volume constantly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, there's some other people I'd like to acknowledge today uh, before we uh, ask Jock for the closing. Um, all the performers, Layla and Logan and Rob and all the other performers are taking the time to record uh, their performances. Thank you very much. Um, our guests who have joined us live today, um, thank you for taking the time to spend that with us. Um, all the parents, teachers, and administrators, and students who were able to watch today. And if you know people who weren't able to watch, to you, make sure you tell them that this will be on YouTube, on the Grand Erie YouTube channel, and the Grand Erie Indigenous Education YouTube channel. Our uh, our Indigenous our Indigenous Education team for their support. Uh, Denise Martins, Jeannie Martin, Robin Stotts, and Michelle Moniz, thank you very much. Technical supports, uh, Mark Cobb and Kyra Geelings, uh, Michael Susky, Jesse Hurdle, and most importantly, uh, the man who hooked us, hooked us up today, uh, Jason Gemmel. Thank you very much, Jason, for uh, hooking us up to the YouTube. Uh, Jeanette Dodds, uh, Grand Erie Elementary Teacher Federation Executive Assistant, who never hesitates to help when asked. Thank you very much, Jeanette. And our Indigenous Partnerships Committee, who helped guide us in planning this this year. Uh, Connie Hill and Wong, Michelle Swires, Teresa Rothwell, and Mary Jane Hufflots, Tammy Lamb Lyons, Marianne Johnson, Lindsay Holtling, Wendy Kelly, Kendra Kovach, and Christine Mulholland. And of course, my partner in crime, Susie, thanks for helping out uh, with this production this year. Uh, couldn't have done it without you. And a massive <laughs> yeah to you, Joe. You, you did a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Uh, miigwech. So as we open, we close. So I'd like uh, Ash Jock Hill to do our closing for us today. Thank you and uh, enjoyed the day. I was glad I was able to take part and I hope everybody that's uh, out there listening and taking part that uh, um, you uh, that you got some food for thought and also some entertainment and uplift uplifting feeling out of today and uh, enjoy enjoy the rest of the summer and and be mindful, I guess, of our uh, place in this universe and the water situation is something we should be um, always mindful of, and it should be at the at the forefront of our thinking and and consideration of Mother Earth's veins. So I'm also when I finish the closing, I'm going to say a few words and ask for the waters to be to be healed and Mother Earth to be healed and we're her children to be healed, uh, Earth people. So uh, I'll close off in the Mohawk language. I notice a few on there have been more uh, familiar with Mohawk, so uh, I'll use Mohawk to close it off. One of the things that I want to say is that I'm going to be a little bit of 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 and well, again, they scot me and did why and then you got Nigora saw, scot me the jit water and a whole lot of young weight again. It's a night to hunk and then you got Nigo. Dani no corny Jenny Hoyer. Ne cheat no way, you wash it the gas lock, but ne a cheat ni star hunch. That they gonna hold us a way and talk, no corny Jenna hold a lot that way. The known of the way that way, ne scar not one of Tony. And well, again, they scot me and why and what Nigora saw. The society no Horado, a jitney star, and one jar in the corner in the Yahawe, a great good society no Horado, no one is a rati, a tonight to hug in the one go. Down the corner in the Hoyera. Nay, nay, you're not a dairy was a goody hunde. Nay, Jira, the nay at the what Santos Nagadi, Tadia Takwahajane, Tisota, Radi Wales. You tsanonia, they say, got Radio Dagge Wahaj in the Horda was a goody hunde, the young kissing is. And well again. I'm going to go on the side in a polado. No one is a rati, but the wheel, I say, it's not. It's a night to hang in your guany goon. The corny ne, Jenny Guyane, Waho Wally Hunde, De Junk at Nicka, Baraka, ne, Rustala Gate, go up. Doski, De ne, the host for Tate the Haji, that the one is a ragi, is what Tishili or Jenny did with the Wanyata. And well again, they would want the way on, they said one of Horado, and you can't nick a caracor of Scanagate, they go away tonight to Hungary and Watney Goon. Down the corny, eh? Ginny Guyon is got ne had the way in a conge. Eh, Ginny Guyon, eh? Nay, nay, a son tat nick a carac, but no corny, eh? I do just took Walloon. And well again, I wait what the way on, eh? They yet to say it in a Horado, 
Were you going to say something at the end, uh, Jock? Well, <clears throat> I'll just say a few words of uh, interpret a little bit. Uh, as in our tradition, we begin with the Thanksgiving address. And although it may be a, a short, what we call a shortened version of it uh, from what we do at our ceremonies, but uh, it is in no way diminish the importance of giving thanks and gratitude. So we give thanks that for being together today and acknowledge the importance of the issue we, we paused and thought about today and, and the mu musicians and artists and students and faculty and uh, all the other participants today, uh, the leaders that took part, also that uh, we all come together in good mind and, and we yep. hope that we continue on in good health and we express our gratitude to Mother Earth and all that she, can, she holds and also the workers above the earth that the creator has assigned to look out and watch over us and also the earth. So we give thanks to all of them for doing their duties up to the present time and the messages the creator sent our people to guide us along and keep us straight in the world and keep us in balance and healthy. So we give thanks to the creator as well. And also I ask that, uh, that the situation of the waters and the veins of mother earth that, uh, we can find a way to, to help Mother Earth heal, and that will help us with our healing. So that's what I asked for, Dan. Thank you. Great. Um, thank you. Lots of things. What a great way to finish our, our program today. Again, miigwech for, for being able to join us here today. Um, so again, thank everybody for watching today. Um, remember, we are the water. <laughs> Take care. Hey. Bye, yeah. everybody. Nyao goa. Ona. Ona.